You're listening to a No Nonsense Roundtable Short Take, a memorable moment from a memorable show. This is Dom Genova, host of the No Nonsense Roundtable. What you're about to hear is a short segment from an interview I did with Rochester uh, native Jack Alaco, who happens to be a uh, inductee of the Rochester Music Hall of Fame, as well as having 11 Emmys. 11 Emmys! Listen to this. So for those people that don't know, uh, let's let's tell people how you got these um uh, the, these Emmys. It's uh, uh, Bold and the Beautiful and The Young of the Restless mainly, right? That's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, I think, uh, um, yeah, mostly for uh, the main title, uh, dramatic underscore, you know, all the music in the background that's, you know, uh, sad, sexy, dangerous, uh, depressing, whatever, all that music. And then I have... Um, I have two for a song, for a best song, which is also kind of a whole different category. So uh, uh, I have, uh, I guess, nine for a score and two for a song. And what, and what, and, are, the, uh, what are the songs? Can we go to Apple Music and get these songs? Or well, not? I don't know. There are songs that uh, appeared in the show, okay. in the context of the show, uh, that I wrote specifically. They have to be written specifically for that show, which I did. And, um, you know, and then it's another category for the Emmys, best song. Uh, and I was uh, fortunate enough to win two of those. So ah, God yeah. bless you. And you're a Rochester guy. You identify as a Rochester. That's, yeah. that's what the show is. I mean, we're talking to mainly people that really identify as Rochester guys here. You know, it's Eugene. Uh, Scott Mayo's getting inducted this year. He's another L.A. Yeah. guy from here. Yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, born and raised. Born and raised on Clifford Avenue. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a guy. And uh, doing a little retail for the Music Hall of Fame, it's coming up uh, May uh, 5th, I think. And, and, right. and, and I mean, it's a heck of a presentation. Now, will you be out in town for that? Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm, um, <clears throat> I am going to be in town for that. And uh, I'm actually um, sponsored a uh, scholarship for, ah. uh, they're going to be presenting at the Hall of Fame to, uh, uh, it's the Douglas Lowry Award, mm-hmm. and it goes to an uh, outstanding high school uh, student uh, who studied to pursue t- studying music, uh, um, continue their study of music. So yeah, I've donated the uh, scholarship, and I, I think I'm going to be presenting it um, at at the event. Yes, ah, I'll be there. Wonderful. We'll see you then. And um, if somebody wants to um, uh, have a dish of uh, chicken piccata, where, where can they get it in, in Rochester? What, 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 what where, where is that place? <laughs> I know it well. I know it well. Yeah, you're home. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, I just Fantastic. wanted. To, I just wanted to prove everybody that I actually do know you. Well, well, Absolutely. Yeah. Well, well, Jack, thank you very much um, for uh, for uh, being who you are, doing what you do, and being being good enough to talk to somebody like me. <laughs> Absolutely. No, my, you're, I consider you a dear friend, and I look forward to seeing you. Yeah, we'll see you then, and uh, maybe a, a little salt and boca uh, next time you hey. come up. Sounds great. We'll have Sounds to do that. Great. We'll thank have to you. do that with Dredo. I love it. Thank you, Don. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. And that's about you know. Th- there you go. That's a, that. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I got a little, got a little plug in for the uh, yeah for the award. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that because uh, you know the kids are the future, man. And there's some kids oh, that are yeah. scary. The kids that are scary good. You know, they're they're terrific. So you know, yeah. I I have this expression, and you know, I I I I, I think in analogies and in whatever it's, somebody. Somebody gave me some guidance when I was in college years ago. And, you know, a, a ship that you affect a little change in bearing, a little, very little change in bearing when you're leaving New York has a profound difference when the ship gets across the ocean to Europe, right? So right. you don't know what little thing that you did to encourage a young person or tell them something or something that they, that they, taught, that they brought with them that you, you will never know. You will never know right. where that is. And and one fellow, it was a gal I was dating in college. Her father gave me some of the advice. He says, well, these companies, these big companies, are going to treat you really well when you're young. But when you get into your 30s and 40s, you're going to really know where you go. If you have a chance to start your own business, go start your own business. You don't have equity in something until you sell. You know, like at 22 years right. old, I didn't know what the hell the guy was talking about. You know, right. No, it makes, makes a lot of sense. You know, uh, there's a kid near me. 
uh, out here. And, um, well, it's a coincidence. I'll try to make a long story short. Uh, his grandfather, his name is Falcone. His grandfather was Frank Sinatra's conductor and a friend of mine. Mm. A friend of mine. I knew his grandfather by coincidence. And the grandson ends up in school with my daughter. And anyway, and um, so anyway, um, the kid's a, he's 16 years old. He's a heck of a jazz pianist. And um, I did a little recording with him um, as a, a entree to Berkeley School of Music. And the kid got a full scholarship. So God, that's great. That. You know, I, yeah. I helped him out and uh, um, and he's got a full scholarship, which is not easy to do because they, they attract from all over the world some yeah. of the greatest musicians. So anyway, yeah. Um, Anyway, I'm always happy to help a young kid, always. Well, you, you know, it, it, one of my, I have two really favorite quotes, and, and one is uh, Jackie Robinson. I say it all the time. People are probably sick of hearing me on the, on the, on the radio saying it. But it says, a life has little meaning except on the effect it has on other lives. You know, I like that. You know, and, yeah, and, like well, you know, whether you believe in God or you don't believe in God, right? I mean, if you can say, well, the place is a little better for me being here, you know, that's, you know, that's the meaning of life. The, the other one is a Franklin Roosevelt quote. It says, above all, do something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my, my my father used to tell me jack you know he'd see me sitting around or something and he'd say jack do something even if it's wrong just do something yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i never, I, never forget. <laughs> just do it. I hope to see you when you get why well, i will see you one way or the other the, yeah. at least i'll see you at the party that uh, that greg is holding at uh, j advertising if nothing else i'll see yeah. you there and, Wonderful. Uh, I look forward to it. Look yeah, forward I look to forward to it. it. You're, you're, you're a dear good friend, and, and uh, I'm, I'm just proud to know you. Thanks for listening. Tune in every Saturday from 10 to 11 on News Radio Wham 1180. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll make more.